Information provided in this tutorial will cover topics ranging from proper handling methods, reptile anesthetic administration, performing bilateral ciliotomies, ovarian microinjections, and wound closure. To reduce stress or potential harm while administering anesthetics to lizards, gently grasp around the pelvis area to temporarily restrain the lizard. Then secure and immobilize the head and cervical area with your index finger and thumb. To increase stability and reduce needle movement, brace the syringe head against the index finger and slide the needle with the bevel up carefully just under the skin. Avoid angling the needle too deeply as this could result in trauma to the underlying vasculature. Depending upon the anesthetic combination used, lizards generally become fully anesthetized in under one minute. To gauge whether or not a lizard is at a surgical plane of anesthesia, apply a cloaca tail clamp. The lizard should be non-responsive to this or any other noxious stimuli. Prep the surgical area by alternating 70% ethanol and iodine surgical scrub solutions. Do this at least five times using a cotton tip applicator. The surgical procedure involves making two incisions, one cutaneously and the other intercostally. The skin incision is a vertical incision made at the mid salomic cavity, while the second is an angled incision made between the ribs. Both incisions extend from the ventral belly line to the dorsal area just below the apaxial musculature. The anole ovary can be easily found dorsally in the mid salomic cavity. Sometimes located ventrally and caudally to this are fertilized eggs in the oviduct on their way to being deposited. A cutaneous incision is made by first clasping onto the skin with a pair of forceps. Iris scissors are then used to make an initial cut and then the blade is slid underneath extending the surgical opening from the ventral belly line to the dorsal area just below the apaxial musculature. Apply a drop of fluids to ensure tissue is well hydrated. Using the same forceps and iris scissors, grasp the musculature near the ventral region and proceed to cut carefully. There are multiple layers of muscle. The innermost layer is darkly pigmented. Once an opening is made through this layer, carefully slide the blade of the iris scissors into the salomic cavity, pulling gently upward as you do so to ensure only the overlying musculature is cut to avoid harming any vital organs below. Carefully locate the ovary by gently pushing intestines away using blunt tip forceps. Once the ovary is located, gently clasp the ovary with one pair of forceps. Try not to pull or apply too much tension to the ovary as this can easily tear ligaments in any vasculature anchoring the ovary in place. Instead, use a second pair of forceps and expose the ovary by pushing intestines out of the way to increase visibility. Carefully clasp the follicle that is to be microinjected and slide the needle at a 35 to 45 degree angle to inject. After injecting all the remaining follicles, allow the ovary to fall back into the cavity. Carefully cover and reposition any moved intestines. Close the salomic opening by carefully clasping the underlying pigmented musculature layer and realigning the cut edges back together. Once done, unfold the skin and bring the incision edges together. Apply vet bond surgical glue to the external surface of the skin, carefully avoiding the internal musculature layers, using a sterile pipette tip. After glue is completely dry and wound closed, coat triple antibiotic ointment over the surgical site. Animals should be monitored daily for any signs of pain or infection and treated accordingly.